Hey guys, it's Simon and I had another video request. So I posted a blog post uh, last weekend um, about a, t a program I use called RSS, which is just um, a way to bring all of your news and stock, your, your financial and your stock news to you instead of having to go to a bunch of different websites. And one of the questions um, or one of the requests I had was how to to use it, set it up and use it. So I'm making this quick video on how to install and set up and add feeds to your RSS feeder and how it works. So, so the first thing we do is we download it and we go to, and this is direct, this is specifically for Vienna and Vienna is an open source RSS feed uh, program reader for um, the Mac. And the process is pretty much the same for all RSS feed readers. Um, so the first thing you have to do is download the program and you just go to vienna-rss.com and you click on the download button and then you just scroll down to where you download it. I've already downloaded it. I've actually deleted my original Vienna from, program from my um, laptop and I re-downloaded it so, there, so it's to save some time. So we go to where it's downloaded and it's a, it's a zip file so this tar dust Dot gz it's a zip file so I just double click on it and I have a um, archiving program that unzips it and so this is the actual app so I can delete the zip file now so you just double click on the Vienna app and it's gonna ask to say ask and make sure that you want to do it because it doesn't know where you downloaded it from and it might be a malicious malware or, or a virus or whatever so you just click OK install uh say okay so it says you can't do it so we right click on it open and we click open so now <coughs> it'll install so i have uh let's see allow so we have all of the stuff i'm actually going to delete all of these and so that way so once it's installed you should see a blank screen and this is all this this is all you should actually see at this point if you just installed it it's weird but it apparently kept um it has a folder in um on the hard drive where it kept all of my feeds so all right so in order to add feeds to your rss feed reader um you click on this button here now you have to find the feeds that you want to use first. And so I actually saved a bunch of my links so I wouldn't have to, um, so I wouldn't forget anything to add anything back. But um, in order for you to do this, you, I actually have a couple of links in the actual blog post. It, there's a couple of links to different places where you can find your um, feed. And we'll go ahead and just click on one or two of those um, and we'll just add feeds from, from, that, from that way. So Bazinga is one of the ones I use and it has, dozens and dozens and dozens of feeds that you can use that you can add to it i'm actually um so the ones from Vizenga, we'll just go ahead and um just add a couple just to show you how it works so one of the ones i do like from Vizenga is the upgrades and downgrades so i'm going to add analyst ratings upgrades and you just click on the actual little orange button and it's going to ask if you if it'll allow you to open up the vienna app which you just agree to it and it automatically updates your feed with the actual URL and then once you do that just hit subscribe once you click subscribe it should add the feed to it and it'll bring up all the ones that haven't been read which is all the ones that are on there now and so as you click on them you can actually read whatever the, um, the headlines are if you want to read the actual full article you can just double click on it and it'll bring you to the actual site and it'll give you the actual article that the um, it's bring that it's pulling from so that's upgrades I'm gonna go ahead and do the one for downgrades also and I think that's pretty similar to the upgrades one but I go ahead I go ahead and do both of them just because I like having them both we'll just stick with those two for now we'll go to a different site so let's go back to my my, my blog post and another one I like is Biospace. And Biospace is all biotech stocks. And there are a bunch of these too. So I actually use the ones for the clinical trial phase three. And that also will do exactly the same thing. You just click on subscribe. And then the uh, clinical trials phase four, I also like. 
I think they actually have a typo on that. It should say phase four, but it says phase six. And then, let's see. And then one of my favorite ones that I actually read the most, Fortune has one. So if you actually do a, a, a search for Fortune RSS feed, And actually, this is the this is where I got a lot of my stuff. It actually good, brings you to this uh, blog, feedspot.com, business news. And the ones that I like the most from these are the um, CNBC. It'll be CNBC. So what I'll do is I'll actually click on this and copy that link. And then I'll go to my Vienna and click on this little new subscription. And then it'll pop up. And it actually just posted in what I copied. It actually grabbed it from my, um, my cache. So just subscribe. And I actually like that one at the very top because that's the first one I always read. And then the next one is Fortune, which I like that one too. Just hit right click and click on copy link. Go back to your Vienna program. Go to a new subscription. And it's already there. Hit subscribe. And that's my second favorite one. And you can actually change the name of this. I'm actually going to call this MSNBC News. And this little icon here just says it had an error from downloading. You just right click on it, refresh it, and that'll actually make that go away. Uh, the other thing I like to do is um, for like um, the, all the ones that are from the same website, I'd like to use a folder. So I actually make a folder and I'll call this Biospace. And then I will drag these into the Biospace folder. And so instead of having to look at two separate feeds, you can actually just click on the actual folder and it'll bring up all 40 of the feeds from and anything else that's in there. So for Bazinga, the same thing. I'll just click on the two. I'll actually do a new folder, call it Benzinga. And then I will bring that up to where I want it. Click these two. I'll just drag these into the folder. And there's 15 on one and 11 on the other one. If I close that folder, now I have 26 and I can just see them all in one spot. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use it. And like I said, this is like one of the best things, best tools I have for trading, for bringing trading news to me. So I don't have to check dozens and dozens of websites because I like to do um, due diligence, but I also like to make it easy on myself. So I hope that helps whoever the person, the person that requested it, I hope it helps your friend who you say doesn't know how to use it. Um, if there's any more questions or if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to comment and I will be happy to answer whatever I can.